It appears that once again I need to do a blog. People, stop reading what it is you would like to read. Stop reading it what you think is going on. Stop reading what you hope is going on, what you would like to go on. Just read what it is, word for word, and try grasping what it is I'm, I'm actually discussing. Now, I was upset today, pissed off. Now, why was I pissed off today? I was pissed off at um, my son's donor, we'll call him that because he's not a father, but he's definitely a sperm donor, at his tactics to avoid his, um, some consequences for, you know, being delinquent on his parental obligations and responsibilities. So I was annoyed at the fact that he is able to pull these little tactics and that he has found some crooked law personnel to advise him of how to delay, not avoid altogether because ultimately all he's doing is delaying things, not stopping them, delaying his untimely uh, or his very timely, you know, parental demise. Now, so people can stop effing this up and preaching things to me that don't apply to me. Let me just clarify for you guys, okay? Because I think you guys are getting it a little bit twisted. So here's the thing. Child support order has already been set years back, okay? It is now sitting in an account, okay? The Family Responsibility Office is now keeping track of it, and it accrues 5% interest per day, okay? Now, the Family Responsibility Office also takes it upon themselves to go after support payers, which would be the deadbeats, um, in order to get the payment to the recipients, the parents with custody, the parent with custody. So they're already keeping track of this. Now, when they realize they're not getting paid, they start doing things. They take driver's license, they take passports, they garnish bank accounts, they garnish wages, they seize bank accounts and the like. Taxes, tax refunds, GST, any government money entitlement, all of that jazz, lottery winnings, um, any money received from uh, insurance beneficiaries or whatever the case may be, all that they'll take it no problem anything in your name of monetary value they will place a lien on it or they will take it until your child support is paid if you have nothing for them to take or they've done all of these things and you're still not paying you come to the end of their line and that becomes a series of default hearings that's where my son's father is at is at the default hearing now I don't call him I don't reel him up I don't cuss him, I don't fight, I don't do any of that. So please don't write me about being angry bitty ba bitter baby mother because I'm not. I'm far from that. Um, I'm not trying to get anything from him because I know there's nothing to get. I realize his value is probably less, you know, less worth something than, I don't know, my dog shit in the backyard. Something along those lines. Right, Diamond Girl? She raised her head and said yes. So he's basically more worthless than her shit in my backyard. Okay? After it rains. Rains. Heavily. So, I'm not trying to do any of those things. So don't preach to me about trying to get things and do all that. No. I'm basically waiting for him to go in front of his default hearing. I would like him to get a default hearing. Now what happens at a default hearing is what everybody's wondering. Let me tell you what happens. They basically say, here is your shining amount of owed child support. You can either A, go sit down in jail for a week, or B, give us a payment plan and make your first payment today. If you don't, Guess what? You revert back to plan A and then we come back for plan B anyways. Calm down, Tyrone. So that's where he's at. Now, I'm more 
than realize. Don't tell me something I already know. I'm not an idiot. I, I'm well aware of this. I took family law, okay? Now, I'm well aware of the fact that you cannot get blood from a stone. So I realize that he may go to this default hearing and give them a bullshit payment plan. But what this does is it gives me the nice little satisfaction and the nice little peace of mind that he will have to be running from a system for a period of time for neglecting his own child. Um, either way, my child will eat. Either way, my child will attend school and have a lunch every day. Either way, he'll be fully clothed and he'll be happy and well taken care of. Okay, with all the toys and bells and whistles and dings and bellhops that little children need. He will have that provided by myself and those who love him. So that's not the issue. But um, just because nothing will come of these processes doesn't mean they should be initiated. That's just allowing deadbeat fathers to, to continue with their bullshit. And for people who sit there and, and say that, you know, I'm wasting my time and I should not be doing what it is that I'm doing, which really is nothing because the Family Responsibility Office is doing it all for me, aside from me filling out these court papers because he served me to now lower the child support that he never attempted to pay, which he, quote, cannot afford, which is basically the minimum amount, the lowest amount issuable in Ontario based on your income being minimum wage, making $10,000 a year. So that's that. Now, one little issue I wanted to cover, because I just went to go, quote, serve him with the uh, my response to his motion to change. Um, and, of course, he has an enabler. Now, the enabler happens to be his mother. And I feel like we need to have a blog topic talking about these deadbeat supporters, these deadbeat enablers, which most likely are the parents of this person. Now, this goes for both deadbeat mothers and deadbeat fathers because these deadbeat parents will allow these deadbeat people to have their address on uh, court papers stating that they quote live with them so they can now say that they don't pay um, the amount of rent that they actually do pay which would suggest that they make more than they're claiming to make they do not make any effort to encourage that person to be a responsible parent and take care of their responsibilities and they would like to then um, get mad at you for uh, initiating a process to attempt that person to uh, take care of their parental responsibilities. So, case in point, uh, my son's father decided to put that he lives with his mother on his court papers. So I said, okay, well, since you did that and I need to serve you and your mother lives five minutes away, I shall go to your place of residence because that's where you live and serve you. So I did that. And of course, to my surprise, oh no, he wasn't there. Not only was he not there, but his mother was there and her husband was there. And guess what? When I pulled up at the house, all the front lights were off. Not a light could be seen, but there was a car in the driver's way, so I, I was under the impression that somebody was home. So I rang the doorbell, awaiting to serve her, um, and uh, never answered. So as I walked back to my car, I realized that a light that wasn't on was now on, and not only that, but she was peeping through the blinds. Now, please, ladies and gentlemen, correct me if I'm wrong. But isn't the point of peeping to see and not be seen? So who, in their right mind, right rational, commonsensical mind, would now turn on an indoor light at night to peep on somebody and not be seen by somebody who's now in the dark outside? FYI to you deadbeat supporters if you are going to peep outside your windows to avoid being served at night okay and it's 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 after sunset please remember to not turn on your interior lights when you peep out the blinds like this so i snapped a few pictures of her okay just for court for court purposes because here's the tactic that he's trying he has now served court papers on me to lower child support he is now going to make it excruciatingly difficult for me to serve my response to him so he can then go in front of the judge after me not being able to serve him because he's avoiding me and tell the judge that i am ignoring his motion to change which would therefore default the judgment to him and they would grant him his judgment however he needed to wake up six years 
years ago and realized that I'm a law clerk that works in family law, so I will record every attempt at service, and after three attempts at service, there's something called substituted service, okay? And when the court finds out, number one, that he lied on his court paper and is trying to try manipulative tactics in order to receive his bullshit judgment, they will probably laugh his ass out of court and probably throw in a couple more hundreds of dollars on top of my child support order for wasting the court's time and wasting my time and awarding me court costs for the day for wasting my time with this bullshit. And that's just what it is. So please, people, start comprehending. If you don't know anything about family law, don't talk about it, okay? Because y'all are making no sense. Stop telling women that it's their fault that their fathers, their children's fathers are deadbeat. Granted, sometimes it is their fault, and sometimes it's just the luck of the damn draw.